Welcome to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys and today lined up for you I have a completely different idea, a completely different video than we've ever done on the channel before. What we're going to be doing is taking a step back in history. We are going to be playing today a video game. Yes, we're going to be playing Pez 6, the legendary Pez 6 and we're going to be playing an exhibition match with Barcelona. But it's not only that, what we're going to be doing, given that it's hard times, given that right now things are a bit uncertain, we're going to be taking a step back into the past the beauty of Barcelona, playing with the likes of Puyol, Xavi, Iniesta, Ronaldinho, Eto, those kind of players. We're going to be going out, playing with those, having some fun, and ultimately, guys, just having a good time reminiscing over some true greats of FC Barcelona history. I hope that you're going to join me for it, and most importantly, I hope you're going to enjoy it. Let's get blown away by the past, starting here with Pro Evolution Soccer 6, which you'll, of course, remember as the legendary game for Adriano. And so we are going to start right here and now. We're going to select Barcelona, go there, officially licensed here on Pez, which is really, really good, like they are today, of course. And we're going to go against Arsenal. The reason for that is obviously a lot of these players out here that we are going to see, as you're going to see now, are the players that played in the 2006 Champions League final when we won our second European title. And just look at some of those names Valdez, Puyol, Marquez, Zamprota, Van Bronckhorst, Edmilson, Xavi, Deco, Messi, Eto, Ronaldo. Look at that front three Messi, Eto Ronaldinho, you look on the bench there, the likes of Turam, Silvino, Belletti, of course, scored that massive goal in the final. Mota, Iniesta, Julie Gajonson, Saviola there on the bench, and even Giovanni dos Santos there coming through in the youth setup. What we're going to go and do here is put Iniesta in the starting lineup. I really want to have a trio there of Xavi, Iniesta, Deco. That's really, really nice. Such a nice balance there to that. And I'm so excited to play with Messi, Eto, Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho, especially. He's the man who captured the imagination for so many of us. And here and now, we are underway on Pez 6. And this is crazy. Samuel Etu on the ball. Into Xavi Hernandez. On to Deco now. Look at this here. Samuel Etu having a shot. Oh, I'll tell you what, it is difficult. On Pez, I'll say you right now, my finishing. This is the first time I've played it in many, many years. And finishing was so, so difficult because whenever you shot, you had to literally tap the button. Really, really low pressure. Otherwise, it just went miles over the bar. If you so much as hold the ball down. Oh, here goes Messi. Maybe he can escape, but it's a good challenge there by the Arsenal defender. Thierry Henry, of course, lining up there for Arsenal. A player who eventually went on to join us, of course, and had massive success. Here in now midfield, Eto is going to be really exciting to play with. I'm so excited there about that front three. Ronald, let's try and get him on the ball as quickly as we possibly can. Here's Gilberto Silva, though, for Arsenal. Deco wins it back, but that's a free kick there early. And I'm just going with the sort of minimal settings, regular settings. Obviously, like I say, I haven't played this in a long time, so I just want to play some football and have some fun, really. Here's Ronaldinho now on the left-hand side, running an Arsenal into Samuel Etu. We're going to be in on goal here. It's Etu in on goal. Ah, oh, it's a good save by the goalkeeper. And I have to say again, my finishing is going to be questionable. You're going to have to get over that, guys. What we're going to do is try and score, but it's not going to be easy because the finishing here can be difficult, especially after so many years of not playing it. But here's Gallas into Youngberg, but a good tackle there again by Xavi at the base of that midfield. Here's Messi, Iniesta into Etu again. It's a good save by Jens Lehmann. Etu already in this game, picking up some space, Iniesta finding him there and a save from the Arsenal goalkeeper look at Ronaldinho there, look at him taking the corner so so cool, I have to say and I think so many of us really can real resonate with these kind of memories, these kind of players. Victor Valdez, Puyol, players like that. I mean, Marquez there at centre-back, an incredibly underrated player, I feel. But in that midfield as well, a young Xavi, a young Iniesta arriving on the occasion. Deco is a really exciting player as well. Obviously Ronaldinho, obviously Eto'o. We all know, of course, about Lionel Messi. But there's just so much of this team, really, which is nice to look back on, nice to enjoy. And here's Eto again, onto Messi now, lining up a shot. Messi goes for goal, but save there by Jens Lehmann. Messi cut inside on that famous left foot and obviously in the younger days he used to stay out wide a lot more on that right hand side he was out and out winger he did like to take players on of course like he does now but he was a lot more wide and he sort of used to cut in and just sort of ghost into those kind of areas along with Ronaldinho on that right hand side and hopefully in this game we can see a bit of a link up between the two here's Ronaldinho they're looking for Eto but I haven't quite timed that correctly but it's just fun isn't it you know to look back to enjoy the history of Barcelona obviously there's been good times there's been bad times even throughout this period there was bad times there was times where 
Barcelona were fighting really to be even in the Champions League places in La Liga and obviously now things aren't that bad but at the same time it is nice to look back it is nice to celebrate the players who got us into Barcelona who got us excited about football and where it all started and that's certainly oh and it's hit the post there by Adebayo we're very close to actually conceding but like I say it is nice to look back and it is nice to enjoy these kind of guys and Eto now looking to try and get onto that but Arsenal first of the ball they had a good team as well to be fair you know the team who played in the final were a very very good side under Arsene Wenger when he was really really on the top of his game there coming into the Premier League winning it of course going unbeaten and then really challenging later on then for Europe and Messi here going all the way Messi in on goal and nearly there a clinical solo Lionel Messi goal we couldn't quite get on the end of that but Puyol winning that header what about that leadership what about that man there Carlos Puyol would he have let happen what we've seen against Liverpool against Roma absolutely no chance he would have grabbed these players by the collars he would have made sure they were focused Ronaldinho there with a shot going wide of the post I really hope that I can score with Ronaldinho or at least score with any one of these players really on this kind of occasion but another long kick there from Jens Lima now in towards Marquez who gets his head onto that one well now into Samuel Eto'o Ronaldinho making the run Ronaldinho now in a bit of space come on Ronaldinho take us by surprise another save from Lehman Ronaldinho he's put it wide I'll put that wide. I'm sorry, Ronnie. I am so sorry because that should have been a goal. And that would have been really nice as well. But Ronaldinho there putting it far of the post. But I'm sure we'll get more chances here. We are opening up Arsenal, particularly on the counter-attack there. They're having a lot of the ball, to be fair, which they certainly did in the day as well. But on the counter-attack with the likes of Eto, Ronaldinho, Messi, we can be incredibly, incredibly good. Here's Xavi now in midfield advancing into a, into a high area. Here's Messi again. Might have a shooting opportunity. Looking to play it back, but there was nobody there. He's going to come to Deco though. But saved again by Jens Lehmann. The shot's right now raining down on the goal of Arsenal but every single Barcelona player in that attacking area looks like they could score the only thing stopping them is well it's me really I'm not, I'm not, I'm not finishing well but here's Ronaldinho once again on the break out wide on the left coming inside here can he make something happen block there and that will be another Barcelona corner Carlos Puyol Rafael Marquez they'll be coming forward to this one trying to get on the end or in by Ronaldinho headed away again Van Bronckhorst is out there in towards Eto again goes down but cleared away up to towards the half there of Barcelona Carlos Puyol bringing it down playing it out the back and here we go again now with Deco looking for the pass there to Ronaldinho Eto gets it but we've given it away there I'm just a bit trigger happy you know I'm trying to get these attacks and trying to get some space and shots away but I'm actually panicking in possession here and Arsenal have got a bit of an attacking chance here's Emmanuel Ibue now on the right hand side into a young Cesc Fabregas of course another player who will go on to join Barcelona in the future Colo Toure for a sickie there but it's going to be one minute here of added time here's Ronaldinho looking for Eto now and oh he's just offside I thought there in the final moments really nice ball in behind from Ronaldinho but just about offside there with Samuel Eto'o of course the movement was absolutely outstanding certainly in behind he always knew where to be he was an out and out number nine he understood the area and here goes Messi now Eto'o getting involved in the build up Messi one on one with the goalkeeper one on one with Lehman. again we've been denied Ronaldinho on the follow up it's just not meant to be in this first half so many chances Really good save there from Lehman. Yet again, Ronaldinho having the rebound, but I can't put it away. And that should be that there for the first half there with the header going over the bar. And we have dominated Arsenal in terms of chances. We've certainly been active there with that front three, that magical front three. Even seeing Ronaldinho there in those close-ups, it is quite magical indeed. But overall, pretty enjoyable half there. What I am going to do actually is just make one change at halftime. I've already got it in my mind what I want to do here because what I want to try and do is have a few more link-ups between Ronaldinho and between Messi. So what I'm actually going to do here is try and edit the position. I like that you can do this on pair six. I do like the fact that you can sort of change the area, not necessarily stick to one formation. So I'm going to put Deco there into that central area. I'm going to have a midfield two then of Xavi and of Iniesta sitting a bit deeper, controlling just the two of those in midfield. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change things here to actually move Ronaldinho into a central area. What I'm going to do there, put him in that central area alongside and closer to Lionel Messi. And then also what I'm going to do then is bring on from the bench somebody with a lot of pace, Ludovic Juli, who is an absolutely lightning quick player. Somebody who could certainly get in behind, stretch the field, really incredible pace and good at the end of it as well. He had a good end product. He scored goals. He created goals. So Ronaldinho a bit deeper, Juli to get in behind, really stretch Arsenal. And hopefully in the second half, basically, I can finish a bit better because I want to give you guys some goals. I want to give you guys 
guys something to celebrate there with these unique players. And here goes Ronaldinho early on now, trying to press there with Messi as well. But Arsenal have found a way through out wide here and into Rosicki, a really, really talented player. They're blighted by injury throughout his career, but he was somebody very, very exciting to watch. Here's Colo Torre into Galas now. Arsenal playing it around the back as they certainly used to do, but we block them off here and out we come. Here, Ronaldinho now, much more central. Already now looking for Messi. A little link up there between the two, and that's what we all came to see. Eto into Messi. Lovely little football here in the build-up. Back to Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho going for it. Oh, I thought that was the moment. That was absolutely wonderful build-up play. Ronaldinho and Messi combining into Eto. So good again, just laying it off. Back to Ronaldinho and just over the bar, but really encouraging signs, and good to see that. That little tweak there has made a difference already. Here's Julie into Eto again. He's been certainly forefront at most of our ideas. Give and go with Messi. Eto's in behind. This could be the moment. Lehman out again and we can't quite get onto the rebound. Jens Lehman is playing an absolute blinder out here. Obviously my finishing is, is very questionable but Lehman has certainly had a good game there in the goal of Arsenal. But come on, let's just get this opening goal. Let's get one goal here just to celebrate. I want to give you guys something to go away with here. Here's Xavi Hernandez breaking. He's got options there. Messi to the right. He's got players breaking down the middle here. Messi, can he go on alone? Messi looking again for options, looking to cut it back. Nobody really there though. Nobody there was breaking to get into the area and give me another option. Messi there all alone, but again, we can't quite convert it. Eto there trying to cover Cesc Fabregas. He's moving forward into Anaboy. Valdez there coming out and claiming it in typical Victor Valdez fashion. But now Ronaldinho picking the ball up central, coming a bit deeper again, playing it into Messi. Another combination between the two. We're looking to have them link up. That was nice there into Samuel Eto'o, but it just bounces away from him. But certainly those combinations are certainly exciting to me here. Here's Zambrotta making the challenge, but it's actually Galas here right on that right-hand side. Iniesta trying to contain him. Galas continuing. Zambrotta coming across and making the challenge well there. we got about 25 minutes or so here. Oh, and Arsenal here taking the mick. They brought in Alexander Hleb for Cesc Fabregas to... Barcelona players, they're former Barcelona players, but one of them faring a lot better than the other. And even Fabregas, of course, not having exactly the impact that he wanted when he did eventually return to Barcelona. Here's Gilberto Silva, not really testing Victor Valdez there. Valdez, of course, you'll notice, has hair on here, which is certainly something that he would love to enjoy now, I'm sure. But here's Samuel Eto'o, out to Julie. That's what we want to see, but unfortunately, he is offside there. The linesman raising the offside flag. Hopefully, we can just get a goal. Come on, guys, let's get a goal here. Ronaldinho into Ludovic Julie, looking again for Eto'o, he's been so flexible right throughout this game, picking the ball up in so many different areas, always providing an option, looking for Ronaldinho there, but Arsenal just about cut that one out, another long ball from Arsenal, they've done a lot of that today, up towards Emmanuel Adebayor, but we've cut in there and got it, here's Xavi Hernandez on the ball, into Ronaldinho again, can we find something here, Ronaldinho into Lionel Messi, who has the ball, he is electrifying, it's come back out though to Zambrotta! Oh, could he be the man to score? He's put it wide, and I thought there when the ball dropped him, Lehman certainly committed himself, and I really did feel there like that could be the moment to really make our breakthrough into the last final 20 minutes now of this game. Abu out on the right-hand side, looking forward once again to Emmanuel Adebayo, but Mark is going to come across and deal with that. He was really, really good, of course, wasn't he? Rafael Marquez on the ball. We're giving it away, though, in midfield. Xavi actually giving that one away. That was very rare for him, but Puyol in, as he always was, in the challenge. Here's Eto, some quick-fire football here onto Ronaldinho on the left hand side he's come out here to really absorb this space he's got options here in the middle Ronaldinho's going alone it's Ronaldinho oh it's past the post I thought that was in I thought that was going to be typical Ronaldinho they're just opening up his body we've seen him do that kind of thing at the Bernabeu in front of all those people there when they applauded him but unfortunately Ronaldinho couldn't put that one away so so close and by far there the closest we've come to that opening goal and what a goal it would have been there with Ronaldinho himself but here's Messi can he make something happen into Samuel Eto'o here, looking for Julie. That's what we want to see, him getting in behind. Here's Julie, Lemon thought about coming. Julie looking for options, back here to Iniesta. He's done it, Andres Iniesta gives us our goal. Number 24, put on a plate there by the substitute Ludovic Julie. And it's Iniesta from that heroic edge of the box moment. Iniesta strikes and the Arsenal fans cover their eyes in horror. Iniesta the man to get our goal. Eto starts it off, brilliant ball in behind. Julie there looking for options to waiting and waiting, Iniesta's advancing, takes one touch and bang, into the back of the net, finally, 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 we have finished our chances and have a look at it here from the reverse angle, Iniesta, one touch, out of his feet, Lehman thinks about coming and he places it wonderfully, ends up there in the centre of the goal, Andres Iniesta, the man of the moment.
Arsenal get us back underway and I have to say I'm absolutely thrilled at being able to give you guys a goal. I was really worried this was going to end nil-nil. That would have been an absolute shame, especially with all this talent and all this quality out on show. But can we now get another goal? Ten minutes to go. I would like to see another one. Obviously, we don't want to let Arsenal come back into this game. But let's wait and see what happens now. Here's Freddie Jungberg into Thomas Rosicki. Looking again for the long ball. Puyol is there again. Commanding header in his own box. And Arsenal, once again, are kept within. Thierry Henry, we've kept him quiet today. And thank Thank goodness for that. Here's Xavi Hernandez now. Into the goal scorer, Andres Iniesta. Onto Messi. Can we see Messi get a goal in this game? Can we see Ronaldinho get a goal in this game? Here's Zambrotta now on the right-hand side. Into Ronaldinho himself. Good touch there, Ronaldinho. Denied again by the German Jens Lehmann, who only let in one goal today, and certainly he has been brilliant for most of this game. Colo Torre back to Lehmann up towards Adebayor, but again we're going to win that ball in midfield. Drops to Iniesta. Messi dropping a bit deeper. Now to Xavi Hernandez. Back towards Messi, but uh, Eto's going to pick that one up. He's been so energetic right throughout this game. He's been all over the pitch, everywhere he'd wanted to be. He has been there. Absolutely fantastic. And he was such an enjoyable to player to watch, wasn't he, Samuel Eto'o? Somebody who always gave everything when he was out on the field. And I think even when he left Barcelona, he went to Inter Milan, of course, under Mourinho. But even then, wrapping up another treble. He is uh, Messi now. Into Eto'o. Into Julie again. Can he make another impact? Come past Lehmann. Messi might get onto it. Messi has scored here for Barcelona. Number 19, Lionel Messi. is Julie again who's at the heart it. What a change he was at halftime. He's come on and completely changed the course of this game. It was a bit of luck about it. I put it maybe a little bit of a shot, but it actually trickles past Yen Lehman. Messi, of course, running onto it. He started the move here, plays it in towards Eto. He plays it onto Julie, who does really well here, places it past Lehman, and Messi there, first of the ball, gets his goal, and that there, that's incredibly deserved. Barcelona 2, Arsenal 0. We have our goal through courtesy of Iniesta. And Messi. And that there will see the end of this Arsenal challenge here. This Barcelona side full of superstars, full of quality, full of excitement. They are going to win here. Ronaldinho, Messi, Etu, Iniesta, the players here have got us over the line. And it has been really, really nice to experience this quality once again. To look back on those famous faces. To look back on where it all started for many, many of us. And I'm really glad here, guys, that I was able in the end to give you some goals. And in the end, secure the win that we all wanted. And it was certainly an exciting match. Obviously, PES 6 is not really what we're experiencing these kind of days with FIFA, of course, technology and the video games and all the FIFA and PES games. They have come on leaps and bounds. The graphics, the gameplay, everything now is absolutely incredible. But this game for me was still incredibly exciting. The way that it pans out, the players, all the sort of techniques, the little things, it is exciting. It is nostalgia, of course, talking. Many of us played this game growing up and we all absolutely loved it. And certainly today it was nice to take a look back on that in these times where maybe things aren't so positive, things aren't so great. We've looked back today at some heroes of ours and luckily thanks to Iniesta and Lionel Messi we've got the job done thank you guys for joining me here today something a bit different let me know your thoughts in the comments down below what did you think of this anything you'd like me to do in the future regarding something like this let me know all your comments down below I'll see you soon of course with more videos but until then as always Visca El Barca okay.